Hi everybody, it's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. Um, it's Saturday and I just thought I would do my little intro to my video that I will be uploading Monday on YouTube, which is what I crocheted um, in one week. I do a video every Monday of what I crocheted the week before. Um, <clears throat> I do have a market tomorrow so I'll be filming that. Well, I'll be taking pictures and doing a little filming of it. Um, I can't film my setup because I don't have a tripod and I film everything on my phone. So um, I usually just take pictures, film, and I weld everything together into one video and then I do my upload every Monday on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I get made and the smaller items I will film like right on my tabletop and the large items I will flip the camera around and film me um, holding the plushies. So let's get to it. All right so I thought I would jump on and show you what I have made so far for the week. Um, and the only thing I got done so far is clams because I had somebody buy all my clams out of a consignment shop that I have. Um, partnered up with one of my friends who owns a floral shop and she has my stuff in there. Anyway, she called me yesterday and said, how many clams do you got in stock? Bring them all over. So I brought them all over and the lady bought all of them. And then she said, can you make a few more? So I'm like, yeah, sure. So I bought some new patterns on Etsy. Haven't even gotten to them yet because um, I had to pump out some more clams. I got, I got seven clams done. And that's what I got done so far. And I have a request for a blue and green dino. So I'll make that and then I'll probably make another one um, and that'll probably probably be the next thing that I show you. But these clams are so stinking cute like and I live in Nova Scotia so I live really close to the ocean and for me the clams are pretty popular. So that's the first thing that I got done this week. Um, I'll just keep making some little videos and then weld the whole video together as the week goes on. I find that works the best for me. So I'll be back with some more makes in a bit. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is, um, well, not the first thing. I already did like the clams that I made earlier in the week, but I had a request for a dino. So and she wanted blue and green so I did blue and like a teal color and he's quite big um, this pattern I got on YouTube so it's a free tutorial on YouTube I will link it in the description I can't remember the channel name I'm really bad for that I buy a lot of patterns I follow a lot of people it's hard to keep everything straight but I will always have the patterns in the description box below so then I did another one and I did him in gray and the same teal. I figured if you're gonna make one, you might as well make two, right? If you're gonna make two, you might as well make three. And then I wanted to have one in girly colors. So I did like a pretty coral and actually that's the same, is that the same? This is a lighter teal and this is a darker teal. So I got three dinos made. And then for the first time ever, I did a cow. And he actually turned out bigger than I thought he was going to, and he's so cute. Um, I did white, black, and brown. And I just embroidered on his little nostrils. He was very easy to do. I had no problems with the pattern. Um, like I said, I'm not, I don't have a lot of experience with 
a lot of color changes, but I had no issues whatsoever with this one. And I'll, I'll link the pattern below. I liked it so much. I did, I did one in gray too. They're so cute. Like, they're so cute. I love the cows. Um, I'll probably make more in different colors. Um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> my allergies. Um, yeah, so I'll probably make more in different colors. And they're so soft. Um, I might see if these sell first before I make any more. They did take me like two and a, two and a half hours each. That's a long time. I'm not used to big plushies. I'm used to small, fast, quick, easy to pump out. Um, but I want to start, you know, having a few of the larger items. We are, you know, getting into fall. People are already thinking of Christmas, so yeah, so I thought I would start making some bigger stuff. Okay, I've made these before. I have some for my market, but I just wanted to make a few more. So I made a few more of the little mushroom dudes. And I can get these done in like half an hour? Half an hour, yeah. So I made three more of those. They're super cute. Like, I love these. I've got them in the Burdat blanket as well, but I love this yarn. Um, so I'll flip the camera around because I have some more small items to show you. And uh, I'll get to it. Okay, so I bought this pattern on Etsy as well. And I got this pattern from uh, Crochet by Jenna. Um, I follow her on Instagram and YouTube, and um, hers looks so cute, like, online. Like, mine just didn't turn out as good. And I have a hard time with four single crochets in a magic ring. Um, I have big, fat old hands, and I find it just, it never goes well with me. Um... And I know a lot of people like the no-sew patterns. I like the no-sew patterns too, but I find when you're crocheting in the round and then you're doing a color change and then like the ears were done in the front loops only, I don't know. I, I just, I struggled with this. Um, I'm, I'm not happy with it. Her, her pattern is super cute. It worked for her. It just... For me did not work well um, so I tweaked the pattern a little bit um, and I think I'm way more happy with my version um, so I just I decided to crochet the ears and then sew them on later I crocheted the tail and I sewed that on later um, the legs I kept as a bobble stitch because I didn't have a problem with, with the legs. Um, I made the nose. I started out with six single crochets in a magic ring versus four. And I did one extra row of six single crochets. So um, I made the head a little bit longer. And then I just, I took peach or pink um, yarn and I just sewed on the nose. I, I just, for me, that works better for me. Um, I just think he looks a little bit cleaner. Like I said, her, her pattern's fine for her. Hers turned out super cute, but just for me, it did not work well. So that's the difference in her pattern and I, I just tweaked it. It's her pattern. I just made it a little bit longer and I started out with six, um, single crochets versus four and I did an extra round of six before I started the increases. Um, so I made four of these tweaked version and I just think they're so cute and I have not done a possum before so we'll see. People seem to have good luck with them um, but I, I don't want to make more just in case they don't sell. 
Um, but I think they're super, super adorable. Um, and I already, I'm going to, I already mentioned that I was just going to throw this in my $5 bin and it's already claimed. So that's good there. Um, and then I bought another one of her patterns, crocheted by Jenna. And again, it turned out fine. I just didn't like how she did the gills. So I just did the gills a way that I understood more easily. But there's nothing wrong with her pattern. It turned out fine. So I made three axolotls. And this one I did in Parfait Chunky. Um, and this one I did in the Michaels um, Sweet Snuggles Light. So these two, um, they just turned out a little bit bigger than the Parfait Chunky. But they're really, really cute. And it was a very easy pattern to follow. I just didn't like how she had the gills done. So I just did them my way that I understood a little bit easier. So I did those. And that's all I have gotten crocheted so far this week. But it's only Saturday morning. I have a market tomorrow, so I will be making more stuff today, which I will add to this video. But yesterday, I got some grids um, off of Amazon. So I thought I would build a couple cubes, play around, and then maybe I'll take some pictures or take a little video and show you of what these look like when they're put together. So I will jump off, build build some grids and play around, and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, so I built two grids three high. And I did them separately because I'm, I'm just playing around. I don't know how I'm going to have this like at my market. Um, this is my craft table in my craft room, which is going to be higher than my six foot table. So I think I can probably go three high and be fine. Um, so that's what I went with. And then I have some extra gr grids left over. Um, I don't know. I might only go too high and then build like a another grid that will sit beside my table. Again, I won't know until I get to the market and get set up. Um, but I just thought I would do a quick little piece of the grids built. Um, so I'm going to hop off, fill this with some plushies, and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I added some plushies to my wire cubes, and I am struggling, you guys. Like, I don't have a whole lot of plushies that are tall. So, like, my cows are good. My dinos are pretty good. But everything else I have, it's not tall. So I feel like the cubes are going to be a lot of wasted space. Um... My snake, I just fed through the grid and just kind of have him hanging off the side. Um, I don't know, like if you guys have any tips or tricks for me, that would be great. Um, see, what I was using before was a bunch of these wire, uh, these wood crates from the dollar store. And I have like 16 of them and I was just tired of hauling two big, bags of wooden crates to the market and you really can only get one to two plushies in them so it was a lot of lugging a bunch of crates that you can only get a couple things out on so that's why I thought I would try the wire crates I thought they would be better and I'm sure they will be I just got to figure it out like this is my first time playing around with them and I will have more room on the end of my table, but I also sell other products other than plushies. So it's gonna be a struggle tomorrow at my market. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll take a little bit of footage. Um, I only film from my phone, so I won't be able to like 
videotape my setup or anything like that because I don't have a tripod. Um, I'll just take quick pictures, quick little video snippets, and I'll just um, mash them all together in my ed editing software that I have. Um, I do like my turtles up top because I have a lot of turtles. I'm addicted to the turtles. Um, but I have so many other plushies that I have bees. I have, um, like I have a lot of little stuff that I usually just throw in like little bins. Like I have a bunch of triceratops that I usually just have like, I throw them in a bin like that. And then I have the prices in front. Um, so I have a lot of work to do today to get ready for tomorrow. Um, and I want to get some more stuff made today too. I have a lot of markets that I'm signed up for in November and they're weekend markets. And one of them is like, is like back to back weekends. So I really don't want to run out of stock. Um, but yeah, this is what I have so far and I'll probably make some more stuff and I'll show you guys that. And then I'll show you a little bit of my market tomorrow and then I'll be back to tell you how I did and we'll uh, take it from there. Okay, so I've been playing around with my new grids and I think I came up with a solution because um, I was having a lot of empty space in my 12 by 12 cubes. So I went to the hardware store across the street and I got some of this Velcro on a roll and I just took my extra shelves and I just took the the little velcro strips and I cut off some little pieces so that I just hung up a shelf like a little more than halfway up so now I can get some turtles on the top shelf and some of my octos on the shelf underneath so I think I'm happy with that and then I had some wire baskets so again I just took some of the velcro and wrapped it around the side of the basket so I think I want to get one more basket I don't know it might be too high up um, but it's getting more stuff displayed so we'll see but I have a lot of these little octos so I thought that in a basket would be good um, Squid, a couple squid in a basket would be good. I just, I have so many different types of plushies. It's hard to display them all. And like I have more plushies there, more plushies there. Overstock plushies over there. And then I have more plushies there. Like I have a lot of plushies. Look, more plushies over there. More plushies in those two bins. So yeah, I have a lot of plushies. And then I even have more plushies in the other room. Um, like I haven't even packed my keychains. I don't think I'm going to take any keychains to my market just because I haven't been selling a lot of the keychains now that um, summer's kind of over with. I sold a lot of keychains in the summertime, but that's kind of winding down. So I think I'm just going to... Um, concentrate on the plushies. Oh, I have a little bit more room there, so let's put an axolotl right here. And there's that space filled. So I think I'm happy with that. And I'll have to take some pictures so that I can remember this setup for tomorrow. And we'll give that a go, see how that goes. Hi everybody, it's market day. Um, I've been up since 5 a.m. because I couldn't sleep. Um, I only got one more thing made, and I made it while I was watching my uh, hockey game last night. Um, it took me four hours, but I was on my phone. I was watching my game. I stopped to have a snack, so um, I'll have to time myself making it next time and see how long it really takes me. But I made this little panda. How cute is he? I love him. 
Um, I just bought the pattern um, a few days ago, and it's the first time I bought from her. This is Crochet Grove on, on Etsy, and I was a little intimidated when I first bought the pattern, and I was reading through it and everything. Um, there goes my nose twitch. Uh, this was super easy to follow. Her instructions are amazing. Um, like I, I think I was intimidated by the color changes on his feet. Um, and his head has color changes like behind his eyes. <clears throat> the ears, you crochet the ears on as you're making him, but everything else is sewn on. His tail is just a, like a bobble stitch. I can't wait to buy more of her patterns, but I have to like take a step back and just start making the patterns that I've already purchased. I still have like four patterns that I haven't made anything yet. Um, so I gotta get cracking. I got all these markets. I got eight markets coming up already paid for. And some of them are big markets. I'm worried I don't have enough stock. Like that's, I'm freaking out a little bit. But look at him. I love him. I'm, I'm gonna make more. Um, and I chose dark gray because I find black really hard to see your stitches, but I'm gonna do a black one, a black and white one. But I think he turned out super cute. Her patterns are amazing. I can't say enough about her. I, I definitely will be buying more of her patterns in the future. Highly, highly recommend. But anyway, um, there's all my market stuff here. Let me just take my phone off here for a sec. Let me switch the So this is everything that I'm taking to my market. And uh, hopefully it goes well. Okay, my car is all packed, and I'm headed to the market. Actually, I'm headed to Timmy's, and then I'm headed to the market. So we'll see you in a bit. I'm ready. I'm ready for my market. Let's do this. All right, so I'm at the market, and I'm just going to start taking everything inside. If you don't have one of these carts, I highly recommend it. It makes your life so much easier. All right, so I got all set up. And I got to step back so I can get it all in. I think it looks pretty good. I've already made like $50 in sales already and it's just starting, so that's good. So I just got back from my market that I had today and I have a piece of paper here with everything that I sold. Um, the market started out really, really busy. Like within the first 10 minutes, I made like 50 bucks. So I thought, Ooh, this is good, but it's just, it's a small farmer's market, 15 minutes in my area. Um, I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. So, um, I live in a small town. Um, so the markets, you know, they're not super, super busy, but uh, this time last year I had, I never had the plushies. I only had like acrylic critters. This is my first season with the plushies. So I have noticed since I started doing the plushies that my sales are getting better. But I've been doing markets for three years and the most I've ever made at one market is like high 300s maybe 420 something like that so everybody that does like does these markets and they're making like 2,000 5,000 like I don't think I ever have to worry about that but I'm gonna log everything and keep you all updated on my journey um, so um, the first thing I sold was a mouse and I had him priced at $10 and then I sold two small pumpkins and I had them at $10, so that's $20. I sold one chicken for $20. I sold four beaded Christmas spiders. Um, and I had, uh, they're $15 each or two for 25. So she bought four, so that was $50. Um, 
I also sell zippered pouches and I have three different sizes. Um, I sold, I had three sa different sales from different people and so my zippered bags totaled $52. Then I sold one small ghost for $8. Um, I had a custom request for a dyno and that was $35, so she picked that up today. Um, I have a bin of $5 critters. Um, I sold three, so that was $15. I sold one small acrylic frog for $8. I sold two $10 octopuses, so that was $20. And then um, near the end of my market, I sold a cow, which I never had at a market before. And I had him priced at $45. Um, so I made $283. Uh, my table fee was $30. So I came away with $253. So not bad. I mean, I've had better markets. Um, our markets used to be outside where we would get a lot of the, you know, road traffic and stuff. Um, but now we're back inside because the weather's getting colder. And um, so I did $253. So that's pretty much my um, video for this week. Um, my next official paid market isn't until October 28th. And that's gonna be in a different venue and it's closer to town, so it's probably going to be a busier market with more traffic. So I will do that video when I have that market. So I'll probably just continue crocheting and do my what I made last week videos. Um, so now I got to, you know, put together all the videos that I've taken over the last week and mash them together and then I will have this uploaded for y'all. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Bye!